very warm good morning. Today I'm here to present our project titled The Effect of Shell Lack and Kytosan on the Shelf Life of Post Harvest Vegetables and Fruits, which comes under the sub theme of Innovation in Technology for Sustainable Living. So, we all know how important fruits and vegetables are for our health. They contain immense amount of nutrients which boost our immunity. But do you think that all the fruits and vegetables which we buy are really that safe? Because most of them are coated with lots of chemicals and other kinds of preservatives which on consumption are very harmful to our health and they cause a lot of diseases. And this thought process led us to think to why not create or use a much more effective yet safe and natural coating on the fruits and vegetables. And that led us to think about biopolymers. Biopolymers are actually natural polymers. So in our study, we have taken up two main polymers into consideration. First one is chitosan and second is shellac. Now what exactly is chitosan? Chitosan is a linear polysaccharide. It's derived from chitin and it's found on the exoskeletons of crustaceans like shrimps, crabs, lobsters, etc. And shellac is a resin. It is secreted by a female lac insect, Lacifer lacca, on trees. So with this, we decided to perform certain set of experiments to validate our theories. So before that, let's look up into our major objectives. So number one, the effect of biopolymers like cartesan and shell lac on the shelf life of post-harvest vegetables and fruits can increase them and prevent them from decaying fast. Our second main objective is to prove that the shelf life of the vegetables and fruits can be increased and also by coating them with biopolymers rather than using the chemical ones. Next, let us look at our minor objectives. Number one, to find and calculate the biological changes that occur on the vegetables and fruits. Number two, to find and calculate the effect of chitosan and shellac as a natural coating agent on the fruits and vegetables. So next we decided to conduct a set of experiments and for this, so we have taken, firstly we have procured fresh and organic fruits and vegetables which contain no traces of preservatives. So from fruits we have chosen apple and from vegetables we have chosen brinjal. We also procured the chitosan and shellac samples. Nextly, we kept some of the samples of the apple and brinjal as control samples. This, these are to be observed during the entire period of the observation and also finally to be compared and analyzed with the, with the other coated samples. Nextly is the preparation of the chitosan solution. Now here, we took 300 milliliter of distilled water and 3 gram of chitosan powder and created the one person concentrated chitosan solution. Next is the preparation of the shellac solution. For this, we took 500 milliliter of distilled water with 50 grams of shellac solution of shellac powder, maintained the pH at 8.5 and created the 10 person concentrated shellac solution. Next week, we dipped the set of samples, a set of samples of apple and brinjal. They were coated with the chitosan solution and other set of samples of brinjal and apple were coated with the shellac solution. Both these coated samples were then weighed on an electronic scale. Our last methodology is that this observation was conducted for an entire week. That is for a duration of seven days doing repeating the process every 24 hours. So every 24 hours, we continuously weigh all the control samples, chitosan and shellac coated samples. And thus, we form this tabulation. Now, from this tabulation, it's very clear. So here, for apple, the samples of apple which were kept under control, they had a mean weight loss percent of eight. By the same time, apple and coated with chitosan solution observed, they had a mean weight loss percent of 2.2 at the end of the week, a drastic decrease from 8. And apple and coated with shellac solution had 3.6, 
gets precipitately lower than eight. So let's look at Brinchel. Brinchel in the control was a mean weight loss person of 11. When quoted with Kaltasan, it came down to exactly half of 5.4. And for shellac solutions, quoted Brinchel, it came up to be 6.8. Okay, so this itself shows us almost the results that are obtained. From this we can form our conclusions. Number one, the shelf life of apple and brinjal is found to be significantly less when no coating was supplied on them. Number two, a coating of kaltasan was found to increase the shelf life as we have seen in our tabulation. Number three, a shellac coating was also found to be very effective as a coating agent. Number four, therefore, we can conclude that Kaltasan proved to be a much more efficient coating. At the same time, the shellac coatings were also found to be efficient. The coated samples were found to be much more firm and healthy as compared to the known coated ones. Last, the decaying effect of the microbes could be seen to be prevented by using these biopolymers. So with this, we can form our final solution to the problem. And that is, coding effective biopolymers plays a very important and integral role in the prospect of preservation. Now also, as a part of our follow-up work, we took the cross-sectional samples of apple and brinjal respectively, and we kept them under observation for a few days. And what we noticed is that the control samples really found a lot of texture breakdown of flavor development and browning. But at the same time, the samples which were coated with shellac and kytosan, they were found to be intact and fresh. And thus, with this we come, with this we came to the end of our study and we concluded that biopolymers can be an effective coating agent on vegetables and fruits. With this, I'd like to conclude